Hi folks, this is Mr. Mega Man Fan. Like, share, comment, subscribe. You know all the things to do. Now in a previous video, I went over the Retron 77 from Hyperkin, which theoretically is supposed to let you play Atari games in high definition. There is only one problem with that. It doesn't work with any homebrew Atari games. It doesn't work with any Atari games that have additional chips inside. It really doesn't do much other than play the most basic vanilla 4K Atari ROM games. So I kind of thought it was amusing, but not really that useful. However, the folks at Atari Age have informed me that you can put an image on a micro SD with custom firmware, and you can actually make this thing a lot more useful. So that's what we're gonna try to do today. Big shout out to AtariAge.com and all the fine folks there. When we come back, I will have this micro SD card opened and I will be putting the custom firmware on it. So stay tuned. And this is the program that was recommended for burning this SD card image. It's called Balena Etcher or Balena Etcher. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but I will drag it to the applications folder or try to I don't have a mouse over here so I think that did it though so there's our program that we need called Belena Etcher flash from file Loads. SD card image select select one and flash wow that was fast really all there is to it well I guess we're about to find out I will uh, quit out of this program I will quit out of the disk utility program I will close this notification I will close this disk image I will eject that image do I need to eject the micro SD it's not even showing up now. Well, it's definitely turned it into something else. In the back, over here on the right-hand side, the cards go in upside down. I know because I already popped out the generic one that it came with. It helps to have longer fingernails when you do stuff like this, and I just trimmed mine. And when I say generic, I do mean generic. Let me show you the old one that was in there. No name on it whatsoever, no brand. It just says 128 megabytes. Oh, well, I'll be, I'll be a monkey's uncle. That does indeed look like some custom, custom stuff. What's new? Added movie cart support. Keep multiple dump files when dumping to SD. Removed dead zone. Add opt out for overclocking to the settings file. Okay. Of course it says select a ROM from the list and I don't have any on there right now, so there's nothing to select. So I'm gonna have to turn it off and put some ROMs on there and then let's see what it does after I do that. All right, now we actually have some games to choose from. Let's try something right off the bat it wouldn't do before on a cartridge. Let's try 
Pitfall 2. Ah, there we go. Well, holy shit, I can actually play Pitfall 2 on this thing now. Incredibly useful. I like that. Save change, load, rewind, exit game. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle again. Now let's try Thomas Gent's classic thrust. See if this works. Mission not complete though. This one is not compatible with the Retron. It's making a valiant attempt to play itself, but it's just freaking out anytime I try to do anything, so. I think we'll just hit the old Philip J. Fry button. Well, it can't do everything, but it can play Pitfall 2, which is more than it could do before. Let's try Space Invaders Deluxe. Oh yeah, I gotta hit the reset button to be able to play, because we're not currently doing anything. Let's see. Reset. There we go. a lot more than I did before. Let's see if I can get the UFO. No, I can't. Not this go around. Maybe the next wave. shot where he was instead of where he wasn't. I know, I'm full of Futurama jokes all of a sudden. What can I say? Oh! When you get cocky, that's when things get rocky. In fact, uh, there's a list right here on Atari Age, and Thomas Jentz is one of the people that's mentioned. So even though his game doesn't work, he was involved. But let me just read these credits really quick. Special thanks to Thomas Gench and to AA members Sneaky Turtle Egg, Gorf Cadet, Liposta, Coleco Joe, 
for image testing and feedback. And this community build firmware was created by da -da -da -da, Remo Williams. Remo, you are superb. Thank you, Remo. And thank you to everybody who let me know this was a possible thing you could do with your Retron, because now this thing is quite a bit more functional than it was before.